Gimel Amadeus, there's two dots, Akal Chayyab and Betfilin. Recording a mission. Yeah. this room, if we all move it, arm is in there. Akal Chayyab and Betfilin. Everyone's obligated to wear Tfilin. Kainim, Levim, Yisraelim. Now, the Gemara is not discussing the Hakals anymore. The Gemara is discussing the, how it um, goes through the, the details of who is included in this list. And the Gemara is surprised that you would have to say Kayin and Levim Yisraelim. The Gemara says, Pshita, that's obvious. Who, who do you think is, who, who else would be Mechoyev? If, the, if not the Kayin and Levim Yisraelim, you're left with no one, right? There's no one else. We don't know who that is, but it's nowadays. So the Gemara says, Pshita. It's, it's, it's obvious. The Gemara answers, Kayinim, it's, it's just like. It's necessary that it needs to tell us that Kayinim have to wear tefillin. Salkadait Chamina could have entered your mind to say, Hoyo Luxiv, because the Pasuk says, Akshart, and Leo Isal Yadachavil, Tetvay Spene Necha, should tie it as a sign on your hand. And it should be as tight to face. In the English, they probably say front lights or something. What is the type of it? Flatters. Okay. It's filling. It should be tight of between your eyes. Okay, so I have a connection between the hand filling and the head filling. And called the Isa be mitzvah the Yad, Isa mitzvah the Rosh. Anyone that has to wear the hand filling has to wear the head filling. However, Vahani Kayanim, but Kayanim. Because the Kainim don't wear hand fillin, the Ksiv, as the Pasuk says, Yilba Shal they should wear it on their flesh. This is actually referring to the pants. But what it means is, that there should be nothing interrupting. There should be no chatitza. The, the, the clothing needs to be directly against the, the flesh. Okay. So they, he can't wear hand tefillin because his, the, the garments of the kainim need to be directly against the flesh. And if he's going to put tefillin there, that's going to be, be an interruption when he has to wear the... when he has to wear the... Uh, when he's doing the ahoyda, when he has to wear the begadim. Oh, it's only when you're... Right. Yeah. So... <coughs> Ema, I could have thought that the mitzvah the reish namilay that he doesn't have to wear the head filling either, because they have a connection between the hand filling and the, and the head filling. And I know that the hand filling he doesn't need to wear, so maybe he doesn't need to wear the head filling either. Kamash Malon, the Leimak Ve'adavi, comes to teach us that no, Kayinim do have to wear the head filling. Just because he doesn't have to wear the hand filling, because his garments need to be against the skin, that doesn't mean he's exempt from the head filling. That's why he needs to say, Hakol Chayavim B'Tfilin Kayinim. The Kayanim is the is the Chiddush. Kiddetanan, as it was taught in the Mishnah, <coughs> Menachas, which we learned. Tefillah shel Yad, ain't a makeva shel Reish, shel Reish ain't a makeva shel Yad. The head tefillin does not affect shel Yad, ain't a makeva shel Reish. The hand tefillin doesn't affect the the um, the fulfillment of the head tefillin, and the head tefillin doesn't affect the fulfillment of the of the hand tefillin. Gemara asks, this is a different sort of question. This is not a question, this is a, an inquiry. This is not, uh, uh, you know, it's not like a contradiction or something it's asking. What's the difference with the, the hand filling? You say that the Kayin can't wear the hand filling because his clothing, his shirt needs to be directly against his, his skin. So Reish Nami, the head filling as well, we have an issue. See, if something is never so rich, he has to wear a hat. How does he get tefillin under his hat? The hat needs to be directly on the skin, on the head, on his head. And here, there's going to be tefillin underneath. So the Gemara answers, that's not a problem, because Tana was taught in the Brisa, Sare ha'yenir bein tzitz lamitz nefes, to show me niach tefillin. The Kayan, uh, the Kayan wore a tzitz, the Kayan Gadol wore a tzitz, it was a, it was a, a, a plate, that went over his forehead, and then he had a hat, so he wore his hat a little bit back, like a beautiful 
So you see over there, yeah, fill in that fits in. It's probably those small fillings that you put in Yerushalayim to put this, it's like... So what about the the Reno Lubavitcher Kayin Gadol? That's a problem. It's going for it's a... So you see, the tefillin would be able to fit in between the forehead, huh? in between the tits and the hat. So the hats would be pushed back a little bit. Depends how you count. It's my cousin. So okay. it would have to go. Now, we're not, that, <coughs> we're not actually talking about the Kayin Gadol specifically. We're talking about every Kayin. So where does a Kayin... He also has to... Every Kayin needs to wear a hat. But what we're saying is that if the Kayin Gadol can have, find room, every Kayin can also find room to put the tefillin on. Okay. Uh, um, Rashi says that they were Rashi. Rabbi Tam says they were Rabbi Tam. <laughs> no. <coughs> the, the way uh, the, the, it's explained is that is that the halacha originally was more general. And as time gets on, it gets more specific. So it could be years ago, you could be Yaitzer with either one. And as as the genera- as we get closer to Mashiach, the halacha gets more exact and precise. That's why it becomes more defined. That's why the archaeology isn't going to prove anything. I was going to say, the guys who wear two pairs, Rashi and Rabbeinu Tams, they wear little ones just like that. Right. Yeah. So right. Yeah. Right. So, there is a Gemara that, that we learned in Menachas that says, Kol zman shebeni necha yushtayim. So why do you put on the hand tefillin first and then the head tefillin? Then you take off the head tefillin and the hand tefillin. So it says that as long as it's on your head, you should have two. Here the Kayan, he has it on his head and he doesn't have two. Tais was saying, answers this question, the, the, the expression is, um, whenever the film is between your eyes, you shtayim, there should be two of them. But Taisa says that's only someone that's going to put on two is telling us that he has to put on the shell yad first. But that doesn't mean someone that's not putting on two that he can't put on the shell reish alone. It's just it's telling me how to, how to, the order of how to put it on. But he's not putting on the shell yad at all. So. Next case is akal chayavim shayfa. Everyone has to hear. The shaifer. Somebody doesn't have a hand, also doesn't have to put it in the other way. Right. 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 Everyone has to hear the shayfar. Kainim levim Yisraelim. The Gemara has a same <coughs> question. If not them, who's supposed to be uh, pshita? That's obvious. The Gemara says, no, it's not so obvious. Because kainim, it's shrichalei. It's necessary to tell me that kainim have to hear the shayfar. Sal kedai chamina. See that abbreviation there? I think. Samach dalad alaf. Sal kedai chamina. Could enter my mind to say, could enter your mind to say, hayol, since uksiv yoim trui yolachem, it's a day of blowing. It's one day of blowing. This is referring to Rosh Hashanah. Right? This is referring to. Yeah. It's referring to Rosh Hashanah. Mandala Sela Betkia the Chad Yaima. Someone that only has blowing the shofar once a year, he's Chayev. But Kayanim, but Kayanim, Hail the Isnu Betkia Kulashata. But Kayanim need to hear the shofar the whole year. So when it says, Yoyim Trua, Yelachem, it's one day of blowing for you, one day of blowing for you, That's, that means that it's only someone that needs to hear the shofar once a year has to hear the shofar in Rosh Hashanah. But Kayinim, they hear the shofar more often, the Ksiv, Uskatim B'chatzreitzer, Sal Al Eliseichem. When they would bring sacrifices, they would blow the trumpets. So Kainim are exempt. I could have thought Kainim are exempt from Shaifa and Rosh Hashanah. 
because it's only those that never hear have that never hear the shofar. It's only the one the once a year people have to hear it on, on Rosh Hashanah. But if you're hearing the shofar the whole year, every time you're bringing a carbon, so then you don't have to. It's it's not a yom shul yelachem. It's a whole year shofar, so the pasuk doesn't apply. I, this is what I could have thought. I would say that maybe Chaynim don't have to hear the Shafer. Gemara says, one second, you're confusing everything. Me, dummy, how can you compare the Shafer of Rosh Hashanah to what goes on by sacrifices? Hasam Chatzaitzis. Over there, it's trumpets. Hacha, Shafer. But on Rosh Hashanah, it's a Shafer. It's a different instrument. The Yom Chu is, is for, with Shafer. Gemara says, it's still necessary. Could enter your mind to say, Hayalutanan. The same thing. You want to know why this one they didn't put in an yeah. abbreviation? The printer had a, had to fit the Rashis for this Gemara and the Taisus for this Gemara all on this page. So the way they, they worked that out, it shouldn't be on this page and that. Says, some they turned into abbreviations just to make it fit. It doesn't mean. It's just to, to have it so organized. the original Gemara has it without abbreviation? I assume the original Gemara has much more abbreviation. Uh, much more? Yeah, because it was handwritten. They, would, they didn't uh, change it. Um, <coughs> so, Sal Kedat Chamina, I could have entered your mind to say, Hayalutanan, because it's taught in the Mishnah, Shava Yevil or Shoshana, that the Yevil is similar to Rosh Hashanah, Litkiyo Lebrachetz. Yevil is the fiftieth year; they would blow the shofar. So the isa b'mitzvus Yevil, isa b'mitzvus Rosh Hashanah. I could have thought that anyone that has the halachas of Yevil has the halachas of Rosh Hashanah. The lesse b'mitzvus Yevil, who doesn't have the mitzvah of Yevil, lesse b'mitzvus Rosh Hashanah doesn't have the mitzvah of Rosh Hashanah. Doesn't have to hear the shofar. Vahani kayani, and these kayanim, the bottom line, hayal vesne b'mitzvus Yevil, because they don't have the mitzvah of Yevil. What does it mean? Kainim doesn't uh, doesn't have the mitzvah of Yevil. Ditanan, it's very interesting. Kainim mulaviyam meichin la'ilam. Normally, you're not allowed to sell your field on the Yevil year. After, you sell it after the Yevil year, and then you can sell it for the amount of years that there are in between then and and the coming Yevil. But Kainim mulaviyam can sell even on the Yevil itself. That's what the Gemara Balavas says. If they have, if they have, if they don't get from their father, maybe if they had a land. And the Gayalim Lailam, normally in order to redeem back a year, uh, uh, redeem back a land, when can you do that? After two years. You have to wait the first two years and then you can redeem it back after it's sold. And by Kayanim, you can redeem it back right away. Which means that they're missing in some of the. Um, the stringencies of the Yevil. They're missing in some of in some of those laws. The so I could have thought, who has to keep the laws of, of Rosh Hashanah? Who has to hear the Shafer on Rosh Hashanah? Those that have to keep all the laws of Yevil. Kainim have exemptions in Yevil, so maybe they don't have to keep the they don't have to hear the Shafer Rosh Hashanah. Okay. I could have thought that when it comes to the mitzvahs of Rosh Hashanah, they're not obligated. The Gemara says, no, Kamash Malan. That's what the Mishnah is teaching us when it says, Kayinim Levim Yisraelim, have to hear the Shefer. Need less, Nubash Matas Karka. Although they don't have the halachas with the land, that the land has to go back to its owner, and you have to wait two, two years, and you, have to, you can't sell it. Granted, Kayinim have that. Bash Matas Ksafim, Bishiluach Havadim Yisnu. But there are other halachas of Yevel. Other halachas of the of um, the debts, the debts go back. If someone has debts, that goes back, and also the slaves go back. If someone says uh, if someone um, has a slave that wanted to stay for longer, but when it comes to the jubilee year, the yovel he goes back to uh, to be he goes free. <coughs> so kainim have those laws as well. So what the gemara said, what it sounds like over here. Is that if the if they wouldn't have had these laws, they actually would have been exempt. Why are they chayav and shayfers? Because they have some of the laws of the Yevil. That's what it sounds like. Okay.
Akal Chayavim B'Mikra Megillah. Sounds very familiar. Um, we had this before, right? We had Akal Chayavim B'Mikra Megillah, Akal Chayim Lekasim Megillah. Here, what the Gemara is asking it, not on the Hakal, the Gemara is asking on the next step. Akal Chayavim B'Mikra Megillah, everyone's obligated in hearing the Megillah or reading the Megillah. Chayinim Aleviyim Yisraelim. They're obligated. The question is, if they're who 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 is it, who is the um, who is excluded that we have to say that Kayanim and Levim that who who who's the chiddush in that? So the Gemara says Pshita. That's obvious. That's the Jewish people. It says Leitzricha. No, it's necessary to tell us Libata Lavidasam. You see the way it says like Tzricha. Usually it says, um, "No, it's not necessary." Here you have to translate it. No, it it is necessary. Lai, no, Tzricha. It's necessary. In which case do we need to say Kainim Avim Yisraelim, the Batal Avedasam, to make them um, uh, neglect to cancel their service? The Rav Yehuda Shmuel, like Rav Yehuda says in the name of Shmuel. So Shmuel <coughs> is from Nardai. This is Shmuel, and his <coughs> student is Rav Yehuda. Rav Yehuda is second generation. Rav Yehuda says in the name of Shmuel. <coughs> because in Bet Hamikdash Arishon, it was not the case of Megillah. Oh, I hear what he's saying. They definitely weren't there by the by the base of Megillah. <coughs> Um, oh, you're talking about the Megillah. You're talking about the, the whole Purim story. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What is what is what is talking oh, yeah, about? Yeah. No. This is uh, yeah, this is this is, uh, yeah, this is this um, is three hundred years after the destruction. So it says like this that Damar Rav Yehuda Shmuel Rav Yehuda says in the name of Shmuel. Rav Yehuda is not is not. Uh, any of the uh, Rabbi Yehudas that we have in the Mishnah, it's not Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Lai, it's not Rabbi Yehuda, it's, so it's, it's Rabbi Yehuda Bar Yecheskel. He's it's the one that he said that his brother we had in Chulin, I think, where his brother says, don't listen to my brother Yehuda, what he says in the name of Rabbi. Remember that? Remember that? Remember that? Remember that? Right, I do. Okay. Okay. One was the older and one was the younger. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. So, Kayanim Babidasam, Levim Beduchanam Yisrael Bamamadam, the Kayanim in their service. The Levim on their stand, in the Yisrael, in their Maimad, <coughs> is also their stand. This is the different things that the people would do in the base of Migdash. So, Mivatlin, Abedasim, Abayim, Lishmayim, Mikr, Megillah. The Chiddush is, Kainim, Levim, Yisraelim, that they have to cancel the service in order to go hear the Megillah. Doesn't mean that it would have to be all at the same time, but they would have to stop and hear the Megillah at some point during the night and the day. Hakol Chayav and Bezima, and everyone's obligated to bench together, you know, to join together in the benching. Kainim Levim Yisraelim. The Kainim Levim in Yisraelim. The Gemara has the same question. What's the, um, what if, 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 if not them, so who's, who, who is obligated? Who's left? It says, Leitzricha, the Kaachli, the Kaachli Kachim. Here's a Chiddush. They're eating Kachim, they're eating from a sacrifice. And Sal Kedait Chamina, you see it again? South of Chamina, it could enter your mind to say, that the Kayanim eat and they get, and there's an atonement, Amarachmana, the Abishter says, and this itself is a Kapara. They're just the eating. Maybe they shouldn't have to join together to, for, the, for the Zimon. Kamash Malan comes to tell us that no. After you eat and you're satisfied that they had, even if it's a sacrifice, and so therefore they're obligated to bench together. So we only know that, that they, because of the Achalt of Savata. We wouldn't know it otherwise. We only right. know. Well, we know it's from Achalt of What we're saying is that Achalt of Savata is including, even if it's it an atonement food. food even if it's an atonement food, you still have to, you still have to make a zimun. So 
it's for the three needs, whatever you eat, you have to bless. Even you got it for free. The Kohen was got it for free. Which means no matter what, you have to bless the food. I mean, it has to do with the satisfaction. It doesn't, okay. Yeah. <coughs> okay. So what if the food smells? So, biblically, you have to be satisfied. But rabbinically, after you eat a kazayas. Satisfied or not? Whether you're satisfied or not. I can imagine someone that uh, was not so... Um, grateful to the meal, and his comment at the end of the meal is, you know, I'm only chay of over here, midir and then she Let's say you're doing the proper way, by eating, by eating. Yeah. So eating is, is... Should be a kapar in itself. No, but that's no, savata if it no. works. Savata means satisfied. Right, that means that the, you ate, and they were mechaper, they were... Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's a good point, Josh. But if it's no good, then they're not mechaper. Hakol... Mitzdarfen, the Zimun. Everyone can join in the Zimun. So you can combine them together. Kainim Levim Yisraelim. All of these, all of the Jewish people, Kainim Levim Yisraelim, can join together to make the three for the Zimun. Zimun is the way we um, bench, where there's one person that can lead it for the, for the rest of them. So the Gemara says, Pshita, that's obvious. If not them, who? It says, "Lay tricha de kach li kainim chuma, lay kachim, chuma lay kachim, vizar kach al chulim." It's very interesting. The um, kain is eating food that the other people can't eat, so you would say that they didn't eat together, because a Yisrael can't eat either. those foods that the kainim is eating. You can't you can't combine that as a meal, as one meal. If one person is eating a food that the other one could have, it could have said milk, it's in place. No, but anyway, when the Kohenim sit, the Rabbis say, well, there's a distinction uh, between uh, Kachim and having a regular meal. Uh, the, the well, here, we're talking about that the Kohenim are eating something, but the Yisraelim are there, and the Yisraelim can join with the Kachim and the Zimon, even though they can't uh, eat the eat. food that... I'm sorry, Baron, but you wanted to no, add no, something? No, like, uh, first clarify. Oh. Uh, so, Sal Kedai Chamina... I could enter your mind to say, If the Zar, the Zar is a stranger. So, if a Zar wants to eat with the Kayan, he can't eat with him. So, aim a loyal starif. You should say that maybe they can't combine together for the zimun. Kamash Malan, it comes to teach us that no. Nehi the zar bahadi kayan le matziachal. Although the zar can't eat the kayan's food, but kayan bahadi zar matziachal. But the kayan can eat the zar's food, and so therefore it's considered one meal. What's the din with zimun and milchitz and pleishes? One person is eating. Milchitz. The other people are eating flesh. But they cannot eat on the same table. I understand. Anyway. So you put up a you put up you put up a, a hacker, a hefsek. Yeah. You do something. You take the tablecloth off on one side. So, so, but can they um, can they make a zim? How does that work? I don't know. Over here, we would say. Yeah, that's that's, a, today a, is the zimun is just that introduction, and it used to be that the zimun meant that one person would bench for all of them, and they would they would just listen and respond. You're sitting in a restaurant, Rabbi. Yeah. And you have yeah, table, 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 table. You can mitzvah for all of them, but it's a separation. Yeah, that's probably. No, in a restaurant you mm-hmm. probably don't join together. Each one has his own thing, his own but table. Yeah, like let's say you're eating a restaurant, there's two, one or two people in the net. So there's a kid sitting next to you. You don't join with him to make him a zoom in. Uh, no, we're not talking about you can. We're talking about you machuy. When I was in, I was in, uh, I was in, um, I was in the yeshiva in, in, I learned in Lakewood. So over there they told us that, um, 
You well, can't you make. Can <laughs> Why not? <laughs> they told us that you can't. Record, you can't make a zimun in the dining room because every bacher comes in on his own to eat. You're not eating together. Oh. Then I went to Lubavitch Yeshiva. He said, "What? Everyone here is eating together. There's, there's no one here on their own. It's all one." Right. <laughs> so it depends on the approach. What do you do? What's the di- what's the what's the dining room in the yeshiva? How do you view that? Is it everyone eating together? Is is it like a restaurant? Where it's separate, or is it like a family that it's a different yeah. approach? Yeah. It makes a difference for Zima. Rabbi, okay. Yes. Yes. The question to you yes, was predicated on Mikra Be'achalta Stavarepa, which is singular. So obviously, if we're talking about singular, it's essentially each one is an individual. And that's a question. I would think that. Uh-huh. <coughs> right. No, but we said here that in order to join together, they would have to have been able to eat the same food. To have been able to. So we said, since it doesn't go one way, but it goes the other way. So, yeah. So, the, so maybe the one that's fleshiks could eat the milchiks. No, I'm sorry. The one that's milchiks could eat the fleshiks. We wait an hour, but he technically could, could eat from that. Or eat yeah. Maybe. If you don't hold that, it needs to be a separate meal. Okay, Hakol Marichen. We're 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 getting into our uh, our mesechta. We're getting into our mesechta here. Anyone can do erechen. That means they can um, pledge someone else's value based on their years, based on their age, <coughs> to the temple, and that refers to Kainim Levim Yisraelim. All of these people can pledge, and the Gemara has the same question: If not them, who? Psita, of course, Kainim Levim in Yisrael can do this. Amar Rav Leinitzcha, Rav says it's only necessary Yel Ben Bukhri. For the opinion of Ben Bukhri, let's see what Ben Bukhri says. The Tanana was taught in the Mishnah. Amar Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda says, Hayid Ben Bukhri be Yavna. Ben Bukhri testified in Yavna. Now, there's different Gersayis here. If it's Ben Kufri, Ben. <coughs> right. Just talking about the person's name. Oh. <laughs> You'll explain this to us uh, later. Does, does so, this mean he was part of the story of led the Hori, the, led the Edut? He says he testified in Yavna. Is that what that means? A lot of people testify. I think they came in and they said halacha sate. Yeah, but is this, is this that story when they opened up the base of midrash? Is that what this means that he's part of that? <coughs> oh. oh, I don't know. I don't know. Was that in Yavna? We'll, no. Where was the? You yeah, saying the the Rabbi the, 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 the Gamliel story? Yeah, I'm wondering I don't know. if that's what. No, that this means. is er, yeah. this yeah. is earlier because this is by this is they argue with the Rabbi Yechon Ben Zaki. It has to be earlier. No, so he says like this. Call, I'm sorry, tell me. He could not do because if Yavne was before that, did they have no hold of Torah? He is putting the name of the city, so he want to be doing something that the important of the city, they became, they became like city of Torah after Yerushalayim, after the destruction of Yerushalayim. Right. That's the way I see it. Right. So it's after the destruction, not before. My question is, yeah, why does it specify that he said it? No, but not if, who cares? Not if Hamas. Maybe it, it wants, because yes. it wants to tell Shabbat yes. Shalom and Zaka, it's arguing. No, it's in Yavna. Okay. 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 So, what did he say? Ben Bukhri, he testified in Yavna. He says, Kol Kayan Shashaykel Eina Chayte. If a Kayan wants to give the Shkalim, it's not an Avera. It's not an Aver if he wants to give the, the Shkalim. Amalei Rabbi Yechem Medzakai, Rabbi Yechem Medzakai says, Loikein Ella. It's not so, rather, how is it? Kol Kayin She'ena Shaykel Chayte, it's the opposite. If a Kayin doesn't give the Shkalim, he's a sinner. And those Rabbi Yechem Medzakai is saying that a Kayin is obligated to give the Shekel. And Ben Bukhri held that a Kayin is not obligated to give the Shekel. Okay, and then he goes on. He says the Kayanim they mistakenly interpret this pasuk 
in, to their own benefit, but it's not correct. What do they say? He's not mistaken. They do it because they want selfish reasons. Yeah, but he holds that not. He says, V'chol minchas koyen kol t'yeh Every mincha, you see, normally there's a type of sacrifice which is brought from flour and oil. So... So, so a, a mincha normally is eaten. You do kmitza, you burn the kmitza, and then the rest is eaten. If a koyen brings this flour and oil, it's not eaten, it's just burnt. That's what the Pasuk says. If a koyen brings a mincha, it's not eaten. <coughs> Kalal, it's just burnt. <coughs> Kalal means it's burnt. It should not be eaten. Now, they said like this. We have certain communal sacrifices that are brought from flour. If we have to pay for them, because if ha, ha, who pays for the community? The, 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 the shkalim goes for those community sacrifices. So if the kayanim need to give the shkalim, that means that those sacrifices are kayanim, in, kayanim uh, contributed to that. And so therefore it shouldn't be eaten. So how is it eaten? It must be that we don't have to give the shkalim. That was the that was their interpretation. Well, Ben Bukhri Nami, what about the Konix Ben Bukhri? Kivan de la Khatrila Lai Machai Vila Suye. Although Ben Bukhri holds that they don't have to bring it, but Kimai Sinami Khaitayu. It should be that he is a sinner if he brings it. Why? The Kamai Al Khul Nazara. The Kamai Al Okay. The Kamai. The Kamai. The Kamai. The Kamai Al Khul Nazara. 